Let's find out how the great New York Yankee Yogi Berra was involved with this 1940s Art Deco bottle on this episode of Antique Bottle Stories. In the 1940s, Southern Club Bottling was established by an Anthony Scalgeon, this is him on the right, and an Anthony Gross standing on the left. We'll talk about the guy in the middle in a bit. Let's start with Anthony Gross. He was born September 1898 in Baltimore, Maryland. His mom and dad both emigrated from Germany. His mom Katie came over in 1888 and his dad Peter came over in 1890. They found each other and married three years later. Anthony was their second child. Fast forward a little bit. When Anthony was 20, he married Florence, and it looks like they had a daughter and two sons. Anthony worked as a grocery store clerk for maybe about 10 years. His obituary says that his family owned the grocery store. We're missing the years between 1924 and 1928, but in 1928 is the first time we see him in the soft drinks field. In the 1930 census, he's a proprietor of a bottling company. Okay. So now let's switch to Anthony Scalgeon. He was born in Turkey on April 17th, 1912. I noticed that he's born just a few days after Titanic sank. His family came to America in 1923, so he was 11. Their names look very different than their Americanized names. It says that they lived in Turkey, but they are Greek. The first American census that they appear in is in the 1930 census. Anthony is still living with his parents, and he's 18 now. His dad owned a lunchroom, and Anthony is working with his dad. I had never heard of a lunchroom as an occupation, so I had to look it up. And this is what came up. Basically, it's just a little restaurant that would serve lunch to local workers. We know them better as a deli. Apparently, lunchrooms were a thing from the early 1900s into the 1960s. His obituary says that he worked as a short order cook and a waiter there. When Scalgeon was about 27, he married Irene and they had two kids. Here's his World War II registration from 1940 and he said he's working for Try Me Soda, which was also mentioned in his obituary. In 1942, he seems to still be involved in running that deli. In 1944, he served two years in the army in World War II. His obituary said that during World War II, Mr. Scalgeon served in the army in the Pacific. He participated in the Saipan campaign and he was discharged with the rank of sergeant in 1946. Okay, so now we've got a little bit of background for both of the Anthonys. This newspaper article says that they partnered up in the early 1940s and started Southern Club Bottling Company. It says that their bottling plant was 116 through 120 South Register Street in East Baltimore, which is this building. Here, they bottled and distributed their own line of Byerly's soft drinks. Here's a few ads. Set them up, Joe. They can drink all they want because Byerly's is non-carbonated. But Pigeon, you don't get that uncomfortable full feeling with Byerly's because it's non-carbonated. In 1947, they started bottling and distributing for Yoohoo. Yogi Berra, the guy in the middle of this photo, and the famed New York Yankee catcher, was also vice president of Yoohoo Beverage in Carlstadt, New Jersey. He often came to Baltimore to promote the drink and to pose for advertisements. Yogi and both Anthony's would go to food shows together. There are a lot of ads in the paper during the 1950s for route salesmen. In 1964, Allegheny Bottling Company bought Southern Club Bottling Company. Mr. Scalgeon continued working there for a few more years until 1970. After that, Mr. Scalgeon then owned Palm's Pizza for about 10 years in Bel Air until he retired and sold the business in 1980. Mr. Scalgeon was a gem strong physically, and very generous and considerate man, said his brother-in-law. He worked alongside his employees and they adored him. 
He drove delivery trucks, threw cases of soda around, and worked on the bottling line. And then he'd go out and sell and deliver to the grocery stores. He said Scalgeon put in long hours and treated his employees as if they were part owners. They really adored him. What a prince he was. Anthony Scalgeon died in 1999 at age 87. Anthony Gross died in 1968 at age 70. He had been in the bottling business a good 15 years before him and Scalgeon had partnered up. And I think he retired when they sold the business. Him and his wife had just celebrated 50 years married. He had five grandchildren and seven great-grandchildren when he died. As for Yogi Berra, I had heard of him, but I'm not big in sports, so I didn't know much about him. He was born in 1925 and he died in 2015 at age 90. That's a pretty good run. He played 19 seasons in Major League Baseball. 18 out of the 19 years were for the New York Yankees. He was an 18-time All-Star and won 10 World Series championships as a player, more than any other player in Major League Baseball. He was also in the Navy during World War II and he earned a Purple Heart. He had quit school in the 8th grade and when talking to reporters, he would sometimes use words wrong or say silly things. They became known as yogi-isms. He once simultaneously denied and confirmed his reputation by saying, I really didn't say everything I said. <laughs> There's a website of some of his best quotes and that actually had me cracking up. Some of my favorite Yogi Berra quotes are, when you come to a fork in the road, take it. You can observe a lot just by watching. A nickel ain't worth a dime anymore. You wouldn't have won if we'd beaten you. 90% of baseball is mental. The other half is physical. <laughs> I like this guy. He's got my sense of humor. One of his quotes is actually still used today. It ain't over till it's over. So as far as my bottle goes, I'm a little confused. My bottle is an Art Deco bottle and it has Southern Club embossed on it. Byerly's drink had Byerly's embossed on it and Yoohoo had Yoohoo embossed on it. So I'm not sure which beverage would have had the Southern Club logo on the bottle. None of the newspaper articles talk about any other beverages. This bottle has textured circles around the base and under the shoulder. And I'm not sure if any of these numbers are the date. It says contents seven fluid ounces and the numbers 169B42. I thought maybe the 42, but that seems a little too early, but possibly. And in the 1950s, I know bottles start having a much more modern base in most cases. So I would say this does date into the 40s sometime. Well, I had fun with this one and I love this photo. Everyone looks so happy. It looks like Yogi is giving Scalgeon that bottle, but Scalgeon really wants that other bottle. And Anthony Gross just thinks it's funny. This photo is dated 1956 and we'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching.